Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Honcast here. Honcast on the weekend. That means we got Hon Tour Season 4 coverage. Continuing to come at you, of course, with what is cycle number one into what is the final weekend here of cycle one coverage for the group stages, at least. Of course, after this weekend, we will know which four teams are advancing on to the bracket stage to then duke it out for their share of the prize pool, their share of the points and their share of claiming the title for what would be Cycle 1 champions here. So excited to be here. Definitely some more matches going to be coming at you throughout today and tomorrow. A plenty, plenty of good heroes and with coverage to be had. To kick it all off for the weekend, we got Reason Gaming going to be going up against Fresh here in a two-game series. And, of course, what should be a good one here, you look at the brackets or more so the standings real quickly, see where they see where they currently stand. And, well, Reason Gaming actually in a fairly decent spot, currently third overall with nine points at a 3-0-1 record. However, Fresh, they've had a little bit of a struggle to start here as they are 0-1-1 with only one point so far. So only two matches played, but still... They want to definitely can they they want to move on with uh, well claiming some victories here is is safe, very safe to say so uh, that's where things stand and again excited to be here but with that said before we get too much into the draft now gotta introduce my co-caster for today gonna be joined by Shortcan Shortcan how's it going hello 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 I'm doing pretty good um, just uh, excited to be here as always and this should be a really good game I am excited to watch it because I said that uh, Mint was gonna do really great so. Uh, <laughs> Mm, yeah, maybe, uh, they shouldn't disappoint. Yeah, again, they've uh, a little bit of a rocky start so far. But to be fair, their their O2 loss was against uh, well, not Sync Esports, of course, earlier on in uh, well, what was last weekend. So, and then they split the series against Bad Monkey Gaming when they faced them. So those are the only two matches they've actually played so far. Uh, so again, not not to get to look too much into their record currently, but. Um, they definitely are at least looking to take one game, if not even sweep the series here, no doubt, against what is a strong Reason Gaming team. But it's going to be a tough task, uh, not only because it's Reason Gaming, but you do look at uh, they actually pick up Clanks with their third pick, actually, as they got Midas and Moira before that. So that's already got to be a little worrisome if you're fresh over here. But I, I think that what Mint has done so far is uh, really good with the Dr. Repulsor pick versus Clanks. Being able to get to Clanks is one of the most difficult things to do, and, you know, Dr. Repulsor is one of those carries and actually can do that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, once uh, Dr. Repulsor gets to snowballing, then uh, I don't think Clanks really stands a chance to stop him. If, um, on, the other, on the other hand, they don't win the laning phase, then there's going to be a really big problem, though, because uh, Fade is going to give them so much map control mm -hmm. on the side of Reason. So I really like that pick. It's probably going to be Tankafet playing it, if not Masera in mid, but I would assume second support at least. Yeah, oh, we'll see if uh, that's where it ends up here. But, uh, yeah, that's what's wor worth pointing out. Again, Masera is back here. We did see Reason Gaming earlier on this week, and Panty was actually ringing for them in place of Masera. But uh, this is they are back to what is technically their full five here uh, currently. On the side of Fresh, they are their five-man roster. No ringers to be had here, so definitely setting up. Even more reason why this should be a pretty damn good series overall here. Uh, but yeah, you mentioned the fade pick up to follow, and now that fourth pick going to be coming out from Fresh. Just putting some thought into this one. The bands real quickly while we're waiting for this. The initial bands were Tremble, Warbeast, Puppet Master, and Swift Blade. And then the following were a Thunderbringer, Ophelia, Valkyrie, Parasite, and Sandery. So... Uh, with Behemoth to finish, but very interesting for Mimboy coming out there, taking out both Thunderbringer and a Sandwraith. A lot of uh, a lot of that global presence being prevented. Yeah, it seems to be the way to go though versus a uh, Fade in the way because then you can keep tabs on where she is. Flux did not actually get banned out, but they wouldn't be picking up a Flux when they have uh, Magmas already. Well, they could have it be a Magmas semi support, but I didn't see that happening with a Mag Pyro pickup. But yeah, they go for the Chipper and. Uh, isn't Zibe known for playing this hero really well? <laughs> That's, when we first started learning about this guy, that was definitely the hero that he kind of shined on in the beginning. It's it's true. So yeah, definitely some good history there. Back, uh, I want to say that was Hunter Season 2 when uh, we started seeing that exposure there. So, yeah, getting his uh, infamous chipper here. We'll see how that yeah. works out. <laughs> They've got plenty of snowball potential now. 
uh, like Moira being a late game support kind of and Clanks being super late game and Fade shining more within the mid game like I, I'm, I'm liking Mint's draft here when uh, faced with reason it's really aggressive and it's really wanna, what I want to see when facing a Clanks yeah definitely be able to get that catch potential it seems like a popular hero against clanks to be honest is something like a prisoner we've actually seen him have pretty good success uh against him you know the shackle ability being able to get up there get that prison break off uh, the hook in general to bring him in close so um he is still on the board right eh, where the hell is he yeah he's uh next to predator Pris another hero we... there we go okay <laughs> yeah but I don't know. It it looks like they want to go Woods Doctor. If they're right clicking the Corrupt Disciple right now, send a dual mid, have a Woods Doctor, Chipper. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense. They need a suicide hero. What is going on? Magma suicide? Oh, uh, yeah, Magma suicide, I guess, wouldn't be out of the question. But even that, yeah, that still would be so that Doctor Jungle, Magma suicide, you got Pyro support. Yeah. That would be a little funky for sure. I mean, if they want to run a laning Doctor, you'd figure they would have to go with. Uh, suicide here, probably, but no, they're not even going to do that. They're going to go Ravener to finish chipper it off. Chipper suicide? So. I think it might be a chipper suicide. Yeah, Zive is uh, reading up. He 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 wants to play this. I mean, it's not out of the question. I just feel that if they put enough focus on keeping him boxed out, if they prefer not pulling into the woods with Fade, then Chipper remains level one, and then he's completely useless the rest of the game. We really like you. You can't do that versus uh, versus a tri lane. I don't oh know. Boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, yeah, <laughs> going uh, aggressive chipper, that could be very curious here from uh, the Hellborn side. Haxron's playing the Doctor Repulsor in the end. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's going to end up being a jungler doctor, as I don't know if we've ever seen Haxron <laughs> in the jungle as far as a player goes. So, yeah, that that this is so it's going to be more of a dual support instead with the Pyro in the Magnus here. With then, of course, the yeah. carry Ravener in the hands of Probusk. That's another thing. I don't know if Probusk has necessarily played a lot of Ravener, to be honest. I might be wrong on that. I want, I'm sure Quincy, who is here today, I wonder if uh, has some data to back that up. But I don't know. For some reason, it just doesn't feel like he's actually played a lot of Ravener compared to others. But we'll see. Yeah. We're just going to have to uh, see. So they, they were opting to go for the aggressive try lane. But... <laughs> They're just completely dodging each other. They're entering the woods at the exact same time. Look at this. <laughs> Boots even on fade, by the way. So he's going to be uh, roaming a bit or just stacking the woods, I think. Mm -hmm. Just being a, no a nuisance. Yeah, that's uh, in the hands but, of Tank uh, of Fed, as you called. Right here, so. Sure enough, Planet. Masera on his Midas here. Instead, for reason gaming. Yeah, they let them get Moira, but then also Clanks on top of that. Again, it's I, I know I know teams like to believe that they have ideas to be able to stop the Clanks. And this is another thing. I mean, Ravener definitely seems like he is pretty good against Clanks, to be fair, as well. Again, w getting up there with that bolt landing, sitting on top, and doing some rapid, quick kind of burst damage even. Uh, we have seen that success, too. So, But at the same time, you know, not seeing uh, Insania has made it very clear, especially that th they just – they clearly uh, – made some mistakes perhaps at DreamHack with letting him get clanked so much that when they played them earlier this week, they were they insta-banned him both games in the matchup. There. Yeah. So it's dangerous. Uh, I mean, the hero is just – it's just one – it's just a top pick right now, and letting it through is just – it's you can't let that happen. And uh, so reason they uh, predicted the try lane, now Haxman's going to be solo top as a Dr. Repulsor, and actually Zebe's going to be middle with the chipper. So Midas versus chipper. This is I, I I'm not entirely sure who wins this. I think it's completely based on uh, skill in this matchup, mm -hmm. pretty even. Okay, we'll see uh, as it goes on if Masera or Zibe gets the better of it. You do see a lot of poking going on here. Uh, Jipper definitely getting the better of that exchange. Actually, landed some pretty good rockets too to assist yeah. with that. And here comes Magmus actually for the early oh. roaming and. It's not going to end up being a kill or anything. Masara's going to be able to dodge it, but it's providing so much of an advantage for Zibe already. This, yeah, like, as Chipper, you want to have an advantage in the lane because you can always kill every hero you're up against. Even when you're up against a Flux who has 800, 900 HP, you can still manage to burst him down if you have just one extra hero. 
Linus is 3-0 when facing Chipper in a lane with some pretty good averages overall. So that's actually very interesting that uh, I guess uh, the games that we have had in this specific matchup, Midas has actually come out on top very dominant uh, amongst the two. I don't know if that necessarily speaks to the actual one versus one in the middle lane necessarily, but um, still interesting to see that nonetheless here. But yeah, Magnus has roamed all the way to the Hellborn jungle now. It's actually bottom lane. Loso might be in some trouble right here. Blood Thus Kill going to be coming out. So kind of caught that halfway through, but Serenia ends up getting the Bloodlust kill. He was not able to rock control away. The Meanwhile, top lane, though, Dr. Repulsor is going to go lane. down. And the middle lane, there's action. Chipper's also going to go one more auto attack away. No, it. he's going to be able to turn it. The rocket's coming out. He has another rocket to come in one second, but the angle's not going to be there. And Midas will be fine. Whoa, all three lanes, man, <laughs> having action. Yeah, but uh, like what was happening just now with that Midas is you can't let him just deal, get his uh, golden salvo off on you that well. Chipper was really far up and just took so much damage from that. And even the two rockets was not enough to bring down the Midas. Mm -hmm. Advantage, of course, of being a strength range there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. with a lot of burst on top of that. But uh, Ravenor, you don't want to lane against him. That I don't know what happened at bottom to have Lodestone die, because honestly, I don't think a Lodestone should die. But if he makes one mistake, he will die, because Ravenor. Just because Ravenor. Because it provides too much with the Stormblades especially. Yeah, those things yeah. are powerful, man. Earlier on in the game uh, especially. I mean, he doesn't need charges from Power of Oomi for that to be a very scary threat. And yeah, as you mentioned, Lodestone, again, I didn't necessarily catch it, but he just simply was not able to rocket drill away. I don't know if he used it aggressively, which seems like that would be silly in the first place, or if he just maybe ran out of mana somehow, but... Um, was not able to get it off, and in the end, they uh, they get the kill as a result. So the lane being pushed up pretty heavily right here. Right now, it is just Ravener though. As you do see, Pyromancer. Doctor Poster is in the woods, and he's in trouble actually from oh my Fade. Gosh, yeah, what is going on here? The yellow camp out comes the burn from Fade right there with that coal, but it's not going to be enough as Magnus happened to be nearby and throws out the stun. If Magnus wasn't there, that could have definitely been a dead doctor. Look at them roaming over us four even, <laughs> just to make sure, but not going to get anything out of it ultimately. As a I wonder if Pyro's going to use that invis though to try and gank middle. Midas is uh, in danger of uh, dying if he gets a good stun off, I think. With the burst from Chipper, never mind. Bottle. Well, somebody oh, but Pyro right. is going to find Fade. He has, oh, he missed, he missed the stun. He thought he was going to run forward, and in the end he did not. Now you see the shards of Harkon kind of forced Fade to steer nearby, and that actually almost cost him his life, so that was a little awkward. <laughs> As Take Effect, you could tell he wanted to run away, but he's like, well, I got the stun on me. I want to stun him. Uh, that would have been bad if he ended up dying right there, but he does not. But yeah, Serenia missing that stun initially is what cost him the kill. Middle lane, meanwhile, the Rocket is going <laughs> to barely game. miss. This is definitely proven to be an action-intensive game for sure. Oh, God. Teams. And yet, it, it's, it always astounds me how uh, Imbaboy always does so well, even if he's in the long lane. Like, he, he, he has higher GPM than Ravener, and Ravener got first blood. Yeah. Like, what, wait. No, wait, Pyromancer got first blood. Uh, Pyro did. Okay, yeah, he got the assist yeah, yeah. Right there. But speaking of Pyromancer, by but the way, so. he's going to be yeah. caught in the jungle, and he will be picked off. That's the illusion of Moira for you. <laughs> and uh, Imbaboy is just doing a great job. He's getting all the last hits he uh, wants and everything, and mid lane. Wow. What, look at this. What is Midas doing this deep? Holy crap. He's going to actually not get the kill in the end. Is Chipper doing a good job support. of dodging right there. The support is coming in. That was Magnus trying to run away from Fade, but now, yeah, Masera is getting cut off by Pyromancer. He's going to be forced element orb. He's basically saying, I'm going to die. And Congor, oh, no. please kill me. Another stun missed by Pyromancer. This oh, he gets <laughs> killed by Congor. Okay. <laughs> that was really oh. close. <laughs> I don't, uh, he should have just been patient with the stun. There, there was no reason for him to rush it at all. He knew that the Midas had used this escape, and it was a... Uh, I think it was a sure kill had he just been patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Serenia seems a little antsy with these stunts right here, and that's unfortunately now back-to-back -back that we happen to catch, at least, of the uh, Dragonfire that he's missed. So, again, the cast animation, it's not an instant cast by any means, so not always guaranteed, but at this level of play, you, you would expect uh, more more than to land than not, that's for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. But 
Mint, I, I keep thinking Druids, Mint is so yeah. intent on uh, getting Haxor in this farm right now instead of focusing on Ravenor. And we actually have Fade moving over to bottom, so with Lodestone being level 6, this could be a kill on Ravenor. Yeah, it's a Shatterstorm. There, there we, we go. go. There's a Shatterstorm activation. Here goes a Rocket Drill, goes in, and yep, should be an easy kill to follow. God, they, you just never underestimate that head smash, man, especially with the Shatterstorm debuff. It is so it's much so damage. Ridiculous. Middle Mid lane. lane, it's just not stopping oh. here. Chipper is going to be hit by the Golden Salver Lion's Pride even. He will get caught by the Shards of Harkon as well, and in come the bangs and the follow-up as Masera gets credit for the kill. So that definitely coming out in favor of overall big time of Reason Gaming. And, yeah, Emma Boy is now 1-0-2 with 350 gold per minute. So definitely the worry sim has begun for Fresh yeah. in terms of Clink's getting out of hand. The uh, roaming from the Legion team is just so much better than that of the Hellborn. It's really come down to Pyro and Magnus this game. And for a reason, of course, Tankafet on his fade and Nier on that Moira. They have been performing so much better on the side of reason that, it, like, Pyro missing those two stuns, that was the difference between two kills. And that might have been, you know, the reason. And bottom of lane, yep. Ravenor is actually yep. dead again. He is yep. dead again indeed. The head smash. Lodestone is going to survive. And Clanks was even involved in that kill, getting the assist. So that almost adds its also entry right there as the other carry comes in to help for the kill. So um, Clanks has only played one of the game in a long lane. Okay. Yeah, but it happened to go very well there. Yeah. Again, being a, an aggressive tri lane here. And uh, yeah, you see the difference. It's not only did his tri lane kind of, as you mentioned, with the roam, it seems like they protected him a lot more and kept action elsewhere. But on top of that, they've also been ganking the. Opposite carry of Ravener at the bottom lane, who's been simply trying to farm well, and has struggled I with think that. Reason just did the perfect rotation though. Clanks yeah. was going to get pressured a bit more with uh, Pyro and Mag being so nearby, and now they rotated Clanks bottom because there's no one going to be there to contest him. I mean, I understand that he's a little bit scared with um, Hellborn team being missing often, but they don't have any catch until that Doctor Repulsor gets going, and he's. Just barely gotten level 6, but I do not think that Doctor can solo kill this Clanks right now. Yeah. And Fade is even around <laughs> on top of it. That's true as well. It's actually here we go in the middle lane. Yeah, no, Midas is going to be fine. Um, but yeah, Doctor Repulsor, he's definitely been pretty quiet for the most part. Again, Haxer definitely had a difficult time for the beginning, it's safe to say. 240 gold for me. Actually, even did a little bit better, honestly. Almost I would have expected. But again, he has the ability to transition into the jungle, which. Seems like Haxman has kind of picked up on that and trying to make plays happen there. It's a little bit of action at the top lane, but it could be more now as Magnus roaming over. So is my nice, or Moira, nice though. Moira. He's just going to start channeling the ulti with the Moira stun on him. Yeah, that's true. That's some good synergy right there. It's... Oh, All man. Right. No, they're not going to go for yeah. it, at least yet. They're so eager. Yeah. They're so eager to go. Oh, Fade in the meantime, he has an Invis Rune. This actually this is an ultimate. He's only level 5. Uh, there was a Rev Ward right here that actually just despawned. So they saw oh, for a second. Loso gets caught by the Ball Lightning. What a Ball Lightning from Ravener, actually. Sure, the Harkon just going to be a little bit late. I'm pretty sure they are. And down goes Loso. that Ball Lightning coming out from Pro Busk. That was on point. Yeah, Zane was just not prepared for it. They were, they were just being patient, seeing if uh, the rest of the Hellborn team was going to show themselves. And... They were just around. They were there to get the kill on him, and he was just a bit too eager to get that kill. And in the mid lane now, Fade is still invis. <laughs> yeah, he's still. All right, they're gonna out. dive. They're gonna dive this for sure. Uh, is he gonna hit level six? He's not in experience range, so he's not gonna hit level six, unfortunately. Or else that could have been a pretty much oh, yeah. not a guarantee, but it probably would have set up a pretty easy kill. But. He uh, is not going to get that opportunity because you see Zibba, I mean, knows that Fade's missing. And a lot of people in general are missing on the map right now for the Legion side. So he is playing it very safe as a result of that. This team has already proven to be a very scary Rome team, as you were pointing out. And uh, they are feeling it. But now he's coming back in as he gets a Steam Boost delivered. Oh, the wrong angle. Okay, Midas is going to go for it right here. More going in. Missed the initial damage, but now Chipper, he's going to feel it. As yeah, the Shards of Harkon coming out. Magmus, he's finding the target. He goes for Fade Ball and it connects those Storm Blades. Again, do not underestimate that. But here comes a Shadow Storm. He does a Rock Drill stun. He ends up doing it at the end. And in comes in, boy, to clean up, though. And once again, Reason Gaming coming out on top, especially with the finish right there. Their rotations are just perfect from the Legion side. Like, it's unbelievable. 
It's been so much efficiency coming out from Ember Boy right now. Yeah. I, I don't. Mint has no answer to it because they start the fight at a negative position already, losing their mid hero, and then after that they're forced to fight, you know, an uphill battle. Yeah, Ember Boy is now two zero and three, three hundred eighty-five gold from minute, and he just got the Thunderclaw. Um, uh, you know, he actually has a tendency to honestly go right into Thunderclaw, maybe get the red boots first, but I think this game is definitely proven to be, like, because of the action, because there's definitely influence of fighting here. He decided to at least get steam boots first, but he does have the Thunderclaw now, and yep. that's going to just excel even more. We know what happens, especially when Imbaboy gets it. On a claim they here. also have triple ancients already, so <laughs> on, on top of the successful roaming, they've also been able to stack... I mean, it's impressive what they're doing right here. I mean, they might not have the biggest GPM on Fade and on uh, Moira, but it doesn't matter. Clanks is enough damage in himself. They only need the lockdown. Yeah, I mean, that is a good point, though. You do look at the GPM charts, and it actually doesn't seem like this game is maybe getting snowball -y as you maybe would expect. It's 73 yard kill We're talking about Clanks and his success. But Doctor and Ravener are both holding their own pretty well, actually. Just over 300 gold per minute for both of them. As Clank's still pushing the bottom tower right there. But top lane, Lozo in trouble. Doctor flying in, pulls him in. Moore is going to come in with the illusion, but again, just too late. So, Hellborn team proving that they could definitely still fight themselves quite a bit. Make some jumps. Of course, out. they need four people to kill one Lodestone. Yeah. I think if they didn't have everyone there, he would have probably survived. <laughs> True. He's just so tanky. Like. The lodestone plates, even though it's only one charge, if the, if that first charge is, of course, the doctor jump, that already does a lot of damage, or the magma stun, it's pretty insane. And actually, <laughs> wow. That gets chipper. The roam just continues, man. Near up, oh, Arcane Vortex. He's like, I'm dead, but I'm going to make you take a little bit longer here. Okay, they will come though pretty easily coming out of that, so unable to do much with that. Did he just clean up the Ancients? Yeah, Clanks did. He pushed bottom tower, he cleaned up the Ancients, and look at that, all of a sudden 430 gold per minute coming out for Clanks now. So it's it's begun. <laughs> the snowball for him. The beginning of the end. Yeah. It's definitely safe to say. I Like, like he's level 11 already. I mean, Probusk is level 10, but Immobor was also sharing his lane with Moira for a long time, whereas uh, Pyro roamed immediately after the first kill, after the first blood. Mm -hmm. So it's even more impressive that he's able to just get this high level. And I mean, he's he's uh, always stressed the fact that every carry should get a firebrand, every uh, agility carry, because it's just such an efficient item. Movement speed, lets you farm faster, everything. And he's well underway. He's going to have it really soon. Yeah, already has a quick plate purchase. So I wonder what Midas is going to be going for here. S assume the maybe the portal key at this rate, 1900 gold saved up, but you know, definitely did seen different styles from uh, an astrolabe even to could even be a tablet, but I don't know if this is a tablet team necessarily. I mean, up. we've we've also seen people just go uh, immediate post haste, right? True. Nothing's out of the question. I want to say we've seen Zibe do that. Yeah. Maybe not people, yeah. just just Zibe. Maybe not people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, but look at this. Ravenous gonna get found by Midas. Oh man, that build arrived. Wow. What? How did it's, that not go it's off? Night. It's night. Okay, that's why, yeah. But here comes Fade. It's... Oh my god. Wow, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> what? They, how is that even possible? They have no clue how close they were to actually killing a Ravener, and he happened to be, like, that was perfect movement from Probusk. And I don't, obviously, he but, didn't know either. That just simply was coincidence there. Look at bottom lane. Clanks is uh, baiting a lot. Oh, well, well, okay. Baiting, but oh my god, here we go. The shot, oh, this is going to be big. The Shadow Storm coming out. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Okay, it was <laughs> delayed so much. But finally goes off, and both Pyromancer and Dr. Pulsar end up falling. Chipper's trying to run away as is Magmus on the left side, so the split coming out right here. Magmus doing a good job of juking, but I think he's going to be chased down eventually, as is Dr. Repulsor, who goes down. So it's three kills, very likely. Oh, well, maybe not, actually. Iceland Kogo a little slippery. Here comes slippery. the port from Oh, wow, but porting it... to the middle. Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Yeah. There's no... Oh, we missed! Okay, that's just con that's overconfident. Yeah, that's good talk. He walked I away. He might even survive now. Because he has Nope. Never mind. Close. He uh he had his stun up if he had power supplied, I think, but uh, yeah. maybe it would have been close. Man, what Either way, that was a bit cocky, Masera. 
It was fun to see, but a bit cocky. The bait Later. was real, though. You were right. <laughs> that was the plan all along. At the bottom. It was more just... I think it was more the mistake from uh, Hellborn team. And of course that they were able to respond that fast as Legion was great, but they tried to initiate with the Magma stun into ultimate. But Clanks is just so fast with that Hawk ability that he was able to get away before the slow even hit him because the pulses were so small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and honestly, I feel like we haven't seen the combo much because I think it's more so Lodestone's not a very popular hero, but um, th the Shatterstorm combo with the Arcane Vortex is actually pretty strong because it makes it to where, like, he activated it and then he eventually went into the Arcane Vortex, and obviously it doesn't go off until after it comes out. It even seems like it, like, delays it. it I felt like that was yeah, even extra does. long. So, but they're all clumped up, obviously, in the Arcane Vortex, so it's pretty much going to hit everyone unless they have a very quick escape, which nobody did there, so... Top That's some lane. great synergy. Fade? Oh boy, this is bad. This is bad for the Hellborn. They have no clue of Fade. He misses the Son of Doctor. He will get Pyromancer at least, though. Yeah, so he, he was trying to line it up on it both, but unfortunately only got the one. Did they get the tower? Oh, wow, they got the tower kill. Yeah. So not too bad, actually, for Fresh right there. Only losing a Pyromancer. Yeah. But the ball is already rolling. Like, this Clank is just – he's got Firebrand now picked up, plus support, plus some runes of the Blight, so you can uh, keep farming, or sorry, Blight Stones, and, well, that's what a PK does on Lodestone. Yep. Zane has Blight. one, and he can kill by himself, as he showed right there. I really think that Zane is the best Lodestone player in the game right now, without a doubt. We're the only one who, he's the only one who plays it, and, okay, wow. This is getting out of control. <laughs> it's it, it kind of is. The Arcan Vortex just stopped Ravener from chasing any further, so... And Clanks is nearby too, although he's very low on life, so probably not going to be too involved right here. But no, yeah, I mean, I would agree with that. Like, it is one of those spots where, as you pointed out, I mean, not a lot of people play this hero, but even if, even if they did, I mean, Zane is such a good player himself that he could still very likely be the best if others did. But yeah, no, he's definitely on top of knowing how to use that rocket drill and all the burst and whatnot. Well, it's more about, I think it's a style of play that really fits the hero is my main opinion about it because he always plays the heroes that comes in on to uh, like comes in after the fight starts he baits someone and then he comes in and that's perfect when you have a moira as you were saying about that synergy with the arcane vortex you have so much time to set up the shadow storm and look at bottom uh oh the chase is on magmas he has no clue well he'll know in a second and unfortunately he'll be dead by the time he realizes oh maybe not he's gonna fall back to the tower so there you go. Good play. Good heads up from Iceland Gogo. -Go. He's going to be but open to uh, not stun in time, though. Nah, he opened with the auto attack. Yeah. Get that dot on him. At that yeah. point, I don't think you should auto attack at all. Just stun from invis. There's really no point. When Lodestone's that nearby, I think you can afford to not have that extra bit of damage, which is really minimal on Fade anyways. It's, yeah, 200 magic damage. Especially at level uh, 1, mid -lane. yeah. Uh, top lane, even Midas getting back is going to end up freezing Dr. Pulse with the trans. We're going to be fine. Meanwhile, mo two towers going down. as a one for one exchange coming out right there. But the biggest difference is, of course, the secondary tower going down in favor of Reason. And actually, Clanks is getting very close now to finishing that shrunken as he now surpasses the 500 at gold per minute mark here. But here comes game. the mid lane. Halborn wants to do something. Oh, wow. But that, that's like overextending. Uh, yeah. that, like, this is what I mean. Oh, they're going to be fine. Maybe Fade. He's going to hit the stun, <laughs> though. Magnus in trouble. The rocket's coming out. Can they actually finish the kill? They should be able to. Yes, they can. And I was going to say that was almost a blessing in disguise that Magnus missed the stun there because of the support, but they end up getting caught anyways. And Pyromancer, <laughs> wow. He is deleted from the game. It's Serenia. Uh, and they're just going to, like, Fade is that confident. He's just like, I'm just going to tank the tower. It does, no, no, no problem. And he has a tablet already. Like we, I was saying earlier, he doesn't have that much GPM, but that's uh, drastically changed. 250 GPM for actually never being in a lane. I mean, look sure. at his last hits, 19. Yeah, 3 1 and 8 it's, helps with that. But, yeah. uh, also, you know, going the Striders, but Fade's definitely one of those ganking heroes, especially, that can afford to get the Striders. Not necessarily needing to get the Ghost Marchers or the Steam Boots even. Um, well, you could argue that Stratus is even the best because of the synergy with the ultimate and how quickly it moves with them. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, Postis is also a great item on Fade because you can get Puzzle Box when you're playing this kind of support-ish, roaming, 
you know, gaining map control, and puzzle box is one of the ways to do that, and then you can use that puzzle box and have you TP to it, if you really want to be all around the map, and Dr. Repulsor. Uh-oh. He's going to be found. This there is the go. fade factor coming into play. Continuing to come into play. Oh, Midas cannot get the transmit off in time, though. I feel like Moira also didn't use her shards. Yeah, I don't think she did. She didn't with the illusion. Uh, yeah, I think she was trying to get the uh, W off, but fade actually oh, in trouble. Yeah, he's going to be turned, actually, and that will be a kill for the Hellborn side. So finally a little, a little hope here for Fresh. Getting a kill, and I mean, Probusk is 400 gold per minute now. Plus, he, we kind of haven't really been addressing him too much. He does have the portal key with the Abyssal Skull. Now, he didn't go the Thunderclaw. We, we, it does feel like that's become more of a routine build on Ravener, honestly, um, to really make sure to get those stacks up with the power overwhelming, especially. But passing it up here, and probably because of how the game's been going, perhaps. Feeling like he needs a shrunken as middle lane. Lowstone going to be found here, and he's tanky, but not tanky enough. But still, they're using so many re like resources for that. They use the Magnus ulti, they use the Chipper ultimate, which of course doesn't have that long of a cooldown, and they use the Pyromancer ulti. Three ultis for that one lodestone, and that kind of means that um, Clanks is safe from a Doctor flying in, and then a Magnus on top of him with an ultimate as well as a Pyromancer yeah. for just that short bit. And now there's also the Shrunken picked up, so, you know, 533 gold per minute, and he's made it look so easy as well. Now, what do we think about the Lightbrand and Dr. Repulsor? Haxer and sticking to his carry roots right here, it feels like. Ain't going to be going to Grimoire eventually, I'm sure, with the Doctor. I don't know. When uh, when we have a game like this where you're against the solo core, you want as much late game as possible. And with the dual core, who, well, Ravenor can be seen as quite a hard carry, as can Doctor, but they really need to build towards it. And then I can, well, because he's so far behind, he'd be getting it really late. And I'm not sure it'd be the, I'm not sure it'd be the best. Yeah, it's that's always just been one of those fun. Even when we did see like a wretched hag, obviously it was very popular. And that's be, and that's when Grimoire was Probusk. very popular. As Probusk is going to be found at the Ancients, and if they get this kill, which they easily should, that's going to be a big one. And yes, it'll stall his farm a bit as they even steal the rest of the Ancients on top of that. But, um, but yeah, it's just the idea, though, is that is it the best synergy with a Doctor of Pulse or in terms of a skill set? It's it's 50% damage increase on, you know, lesser damage abilities compared to something like a Hack who has that Bat Blast or even the Sonar Scream to an extent. Well, so. Ludicrous Speed does quite a bit of damage with a Grimoire. It yeah. is absolutely ridiculous. Like, you can fly from a quarter of the map away, and then that's buffed by 15%. But look at Clanks. It's like <laughs> Probusk just now. Oh, my God. The goons caught out, and Magmas will fall. Chipper is going to go down. They had no freaking clue. They, they knew. They saw Clanks there earlier, I'm pretty sure. But they're like, OK, he's gone. And all of a sudden, no, he wasn't. He Are they going to chase down this Pyro, though? No, they don't have vision of him. But. They've just taken so much control of the game, and right now all they need to do is uh, save Clanks long enough so that he can get a Shrunken off, and then the fight is won, I think. Yeah, I mean, we see right there. It's, it gets the Goon Squad out. It's, it's good luck with it. A, a couple of seconds, it really took him to kill Magnus, and only a couple more seconds to finish off the Chipper. So, um, yeah, if he gets the Shrunken off, this Hellborn team not going to be able to do a damn thing, really. And yeah, that goes back to the idea, especially of the Doctor passing up the that like Hellflower instead as bottom lane. Pyromancer gets caught, and a Doctor will fly away before he's going to get caught himself. But uh, they they can't be they can't be taking these really non exchanges even obviously even losing a hero for nothing. Never a good never a good thing when you're behind, especially so. Mid lane, <laughs> I think Zane is going to ulti this. Oh, this is interesting. Is he going to keep going uh, now? He's not going, so that'll be a saving grace I, at least. I think they're going to go now. They want to at least. They saw him rotating over here with the ward. Here we go. The chance of, oh, we got the Shrunken off at least. It is that mixed damage, though, and you're still feeling it. I mean, even with the Shrunken, he could not withstand the damage. As Chipper's also picked off the chase, Magnus. I don't know what Magnus and Pyro are planning <laughs> here, man. It's just themselves. <laughs> They're going to go down. Almost. Even the Almost. Blazing Strike being used, but it's still not enough. Pyro goes down. Magnus is doing a good job of escaping everything. It's now Dr. Pulsar flies in, and unfortunately, that was the wrong decision. GG, well played. Game one will go to Reason Gaming here. And, you know, 
Quincy, I would love to see the stats on Clanks in the hands of Emma Boy and what the win loss <laughs> is, because it's got to be pretty damn good. Oh God. Yeah. Come on, ban the hero, please. <laughs>